This video is a visual overview of the procedures and guidelines for installing Elka Seal GCL. Before any installation is attempted, it is important to consult the detailed instructions for installing Elka Seal GCL in the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual. It is also important that before either loading or unloading Elka Seal GCL, that GCL loading and unloading videos are viewed and the relevant section of the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual is consulted. These are available on the Geofabrics website or from our sales branches. Before installation, Elka Seal GCL should be stored on a level, well drained pad as close to the work area as is practical. Once again, please refer to the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual for more detailed information on storing GCL rolls. It is very important that the subgrade is properly prepared before Elka Seal GCL is installed. For a successful installation, Elka Seal GCL must be placed on a well graded, firm, unyielding subgrade. Any large protrusions, such as tree roots or rocks, need to be removed. Please refer to the Elka Seal installation guidelines for detailed information on subgrade preparation requirements. If unsuitable subgrade material is present, it should be removed, then replaced with suitable subgrade material. Which then needs to be compacted. It is important to create anchor trenches at the top of any slope where Elka Seal GCL is to be installed that is steeper than a 1 vertical to 7 horizontal ratio. Please ensure the anchor trenches are properly backfilled and compacted in accordance with specific project requirements. There are specifications for several typical anchor trench designs in the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual. Once the subgrade has been suitably prepared and there are no adverse weather conditions present or forecast, GCL installation can commence. It is generally recommended that panel layout be done prior to commencing the installation to ensure that the installation sequence addresses the site-specific environment, such as the location of slopes, geometry of the site, flow of water after rainfall events, and so on. Elka Seal GCL has a witness mark on the underside of the roll to help the installation team maintain the correct longitudinal overlap. Elka Seal GCL generally requires no additional on-site adhesion of longitudinal overlap areas as an increased amount of bentonite in the overlap region added during the manufacturing process bonds the overlapping sections. There is detailed information in the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual on appropriate procedures and bonding methods for pasted transverse overlaps, cut pieces, repairs and patches. Any penetrations of the Elka Seal GCL skin must be sealed with multiple layers of GCL around the penetration, using bentonite paste to bond each layer. The Elka Seal GCL Installation Guidelines Manual has detailed instructions for detailing around penetrations. Once the Elka Seal GCL has been laid, cover soil must be placed over the Elka Seal GCL in a manner that causes minimal disturbance of the GCL. First and foremost, cover soil should be applied and spread in a direction so that the cover soil is not pushed under the GCL overlaps. 
In areas where regular construction traffic occurs, the thickness of the cover soil may need to be double. Avoid anything that may cause a penetration of the GCL. It is important that the Elka Seal Installation Guidelines Manual is consulted for detailed information on cover soil requirements and preferred methods for placing and spreading cover soil.